Well, I'm out of coaching in the car, but I wanted to bring you a, a, a vidcast, and I think I've made that word up. Uh, but anyway, from coaching process wins out here, and uh, you know, maybe just getting away from X's and O's right now, and getting away from football. I, I saw this today, and uh, I don't have a very good uh, memory for quotes, so I'll, I'll just have to read it. You know, there are only three colors, 10 digits, and seven notes. It's what we do with them that's important. That was stated from Jim Rohn. And I was actually listening to somebody on a podcast, and I think he uh, credited that quote to Sun Tzu on the Art of War. And a lot of football coaches may have that desk on their bookshelf, the Art of War. And, you know, about, I don't know, uh, 1995, I was coaching a great team, and we were doing pretty well. And, uh, and and we scored a lot of points, and we ran the old-fashioned wing team. Literally, we ran three plays. Man. We ran uh, the buck sweep, the buck trap, and the boot. And uh, oh, we sprinkled some belly in there, and four or five simple little plays. And we scored a lot of points. What one was because we had some dominant players, and they'd have made any offense go. But I, uh, it's 2017, and. Uh, I, uh, I, I look at everything that everybody's doing, you know, the spread, the reads, the RPOs, and all this great stuff in football. And uh, I worked with a coach, oh, I don't know, about 15 years ago, and he said, one day I'm going to come up with this new system that's going to turn the football world on its ear. I'm going to come up with a new thing, and I'm going to get all this credit. And he, he and I were kind of joking about it. He was partially serious. Uh, long story short, he never came up with that great thing. But golly, so many guys have. You know, we've evolved from 21 personnel and an I formation, a wing T, a split back rear, and you know, who knew? You know, uh, the shotgun is going to be what it is today. Uh, you know, you can harken back 50 years ago in terms of what comes around goes around, and you had the old spinning fullback series with a single wing, and heck, that was shotgun. Uh, you know, but what uh, heck, Gus Malzahn uh, brought into football, what Rich Rodriguez brought into football, when this was even before he was at Tulane, and and then what he uh, what he brought, you know, into you know uh, the window of the world of football, what he was doing with. Uh, I think it was Sean King at Tulane looking over to the sideline, thumbs up, thumbs down, and going with hurry up, no tempo, tempo, and then what Malzahn brought. And now, you know, that's elevated him all the way up, uh, up the food chain to the SEC. And, and now, hey, RPOs, how, how far, how much farther can we go? What's the next great development offensively? What's the next great development defensively? And, uh, hey, I came out here for a purpose. Uh, I actually, my wife was walking, and this is 17-mile drive. And I look around at this vastness, and I tell you what, I am surrounded by beauty. And uh, right over the shoulder right there, I'm looking right now at about three different fairways on Pebble Beach. Right over here, I'm looking at a at a beachside hole right there by a cypress tree. I don't know if the sun's going to allow it to, to be seen. And then back over here, back over my left shoulder, down there on the beach here in Pebble Beach, there's surfers out there. You can't see them from this far distance. But, you know, there's a vast, vast, you know, just beauty, glory. And... You know, we listen to music, we read books. What next song's going to be written? How can they write any more hits? How can they write any more classics? And I go back to this Jim Rohn piece. There are only three colors, ten digits, and seven notes. You know, there's only 11 guys on offense and 11 guys on defense. What's next? What are you going to develop? What am I going to develop? What are, my, what are we going to see? I probably won't develop anything, but I can't wait for the next coach in his uh, creative lab on his whiteboard uh, puts it out there. And, and there's coaches right now doing things that nobody's heard of. And, uh, here in the next cycle of plays, RPOs will be the last phase, and here comes the new phase, and I'm looking forward to it. So work off those three colors, those ten digits, and those seven notes, man. Make something beautiful. Uh, it's what you do with it.
will come back and see us at coaching process wins.